Cowboys running away with the division at 10 and 6 this season. <coughs> yep. You're excited about that. We know that. And then look at the rest of the teams, the Giants, Eagles, and Redskins. They have them finishing at 6 and 10. Mm. Guys, did they get this right? Mm. Shannon? Hmm. Yeah, well, we know his answer. Skip. Mm. You actually did that and tried to pass it I off did not as do insider. It. I have nothing to do with it. Stop. I, I'm a football insider. So I'm let me get this. So let me. So let me get. So let me get this right. Greg Hardy, who was one of your best pass rushers, he's not there anymore, and rightfully so. It's he, on. he was like a zero last year. Go ahead. Your two next best pass rushers mm -hmm. are going to miss the first four games. Mm -hmm. That's provided they haven't had any more positive drug tests. Yep. Defense which was really, really bad last year. And I don't think it got any better because the guy you took in the second round, Jalen Smith, I think that's his name, mm -hmm. probably won't play a down this year. Probably won't. But you're thinking, because you get Tony Romo, I got another guy that's mm -hmm. starting to get, I guess you're going to say he's in his prime, mm -hmm. but I digress. Here's a guy that's 34, 35 years of age, coming off his third surgery mm -hmm. on a collarbone in the past three years. Last I checked, having played this game before, as you get older, you don't get healthier. So you actually think you want me to believe and you want all the people that's watching this show today because they drafted Zeke Elliott. Mm -hmm. Now all of a sudden, they're the, they're the beast of the East. Mm -hmm. You actually By believe By four that. games. Yep. And, and you think who's going to win it? I, look, for the past four years, they've been nothing. I'm riding with Eli. I'm a ride with Eli. Because I don't wait, believe. Wait, wait. Eli Manning? E that guy? Eli Manning and Beckham. I'm a ride with those two guys. I don't believe Kirk Cousins gonna going to have a, the type of year that he had last year. I think they're going to take a step back. Now, all, although I think defensively, they'll be there. They signed Josh Norman. I think he's more of a systems guy than, say, a shutdown corner, the Patrick Petersons, the Revises, uh, uh, the Shermans. Chris Harris Jr., those type guys. I don't think he's that type of a guy. Cowboys, Cowboys are not winning this division. I told you that last year. I sat on this very desk, told you they weren't winning that division. I can tell you. I, I love the way you do this because, see, when you bang the table, it makes you more right. I can tell we you right now. We've got to replace the table a couple times. They're going to they're gonna be 12 and 4. I've seen it right now. And they're going to win the NFC East, and they're going to win it, and they're going to play for the Super Bowl. None of those things happen. The New York football giants says Shannon Sharp will win the NFC East next year. Can we get that on tape, please? They will have a better record than the Dallas Cowboys. That means they will win the East. Or, yes. Or you're not, you're yes. not counting out yes. the Redskins, I guess. Yeah, I don't believe Kirk. I, I think Kirk Cousins, I, I, don't, I think he falls back to earth. Now, is he a 2,500 yards? I don't believe he's a 4,000, 4,200, 40, whatever he threw for the 30 touchdowns. He's... I don't think he's that good. I don't think he's that great. I think he's a good quarterback. I don't think he's great. But I know what Eli Manning can do. Mm -hmm. You know what he can do. May, may I have my camera, please? Mm -mm. Thank you. My, sorry. My <laughs> Cowboys will win the <laughs> NFC East next year. You can book it, and I'll tell you why. Let's go back to your Giants first. We could, I'll even do this by default. Do you realize that every third year of Eli's career right on schedule, he has led the National Football League in interceptions. He's had two pretty good years since he last led the NFL in interceptions. Mm -hmm. He's right on schedule this year to lead the league in interceptions. And the team that you have picked to win the East spent almost 200 million free agent dollars on these three players. Olivier Vernon, Janoris Jenkins, and Damon Harrison. You know how many Pro Bowls they have among the three of them? How about zero? You know how many playoff game experiences that they have among the three of them? Zero playoff games among the three of them. Will those three turn around the New York football Giants defense? I think not. They drafted in the first round Eli Apple, starting with Mel Kuyper. God bless him. Reach. Like, what are you doing, Eli Apple? I think they drafted him for his name. Eli Big Apple. Oh, we got another oh, Eli stop, Big stop, Apple. That, that's stop, it. That's stop. it. You can sell him. You can market him. No, you I'm, cannot. I'm you. Yep. You're not marketing okay. no defensive okay. back. Well, way rookie. to go. Okay, way to go. So now back to my Dallas Cowboys. If Tony Romo goes down, you got me. And if that's the only reason you, you, you've got to, to say that my team won't win no, the division, you've got skip, me. Skip, skip. We can't say if. We got to stop using because you hedging here. If, so, if. 
Are they going to win the division? Yep, we don't. Well, if Tony Romo stays healthy, if he throws for 4,000 yards, if Ezekiel Elliott runs for 2,500 yards, this, we can't do ifs. Are they going to win the division? Yes. Yes. Or no? yes okay. Absolutely. Okay. Because Ezekiel Elliott See? will change the way they play football. They will control the clock the way they did two years with DeMarco Murray when he led the NFL in rushing and they led in time of possession. They will do it again with Zeke the freak. I believe Tony Romo will stay healthy. His, his last surgery on his shoulder, I think they put in a plate that will help him avoid that same injury next year. But I don't know. If you want to wish it upon him, if you want to were jinx they, him, put that voodoo on him, that's fine made, with me. But I'm China? not going to. Was it made of China? Because you know he breaks real yeah. easy. Okay. <laughs> yes, Bryant had his second surgery on his foot. Mm -hmm. They all require, after that Jones fracture, a second surgery. Kevin Durant needed a second surgery. Julian Edelman has needed a second surgery. I believe Des Bryant will be 1,000% Des Bryant next year. The offensive line, even you cannot debate, is, is at the top of the they're list. They're very good. They're and very good. I, I think they're even better run blockers than pass blockers, as many lines often are. Mm -hmm. So I think they will be devastating and dominating. This will be the most explosive offense in the National Football League. I will give you my defense is a little shaky, but Scandrick, little? Orlando Scandrick comes back, and he was my best defensive player two years ago. But what is he coming best. off of? A lower leg injury. Okay. Normally, guys don't speed up when they suffer Sometimes lower leg Sometimes they injury. do. Sometimes. Okay, but who's going to take some of the pressure off of Dez Bryant? Now, you know Jason Witten is only like 12 months younger than me. Okay. You should still be playing then. No, I'm he's good. playing at the <laughs> highest level. He's, he looks like a Hall of Famer to me. Skip. Will he not be at first ballot Hall of Famer? Skip, 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 mm -hmm. skip, skip. What, why do you do this? Why do you try to put me on the spot? Why do you because try to... Because you're so spottable. I can just... <laughs> I, I, you're you're such the, an easy who, target. Who, who is the other receiver? Terrence Williams. Really? Yeah, he's a touchdown waiting to happen because he gets single coverage. He's and he a gets behind He's people. a drop waiting to happen. I think he's a. Who has two years ago? What happened? Who has when Tony who, Romo stayed healthy? What who, happened? Who, is the, who has the better hands, him or Ted Ginn Jr.? Both of them 50-50. That's they're the 50 not true. They're the 50 Terrence Williams is much better than Ted. As far as catching the football, he's not faster than Ted Ginn Jr., I can tell you that. I, I might disagree with you on that. Skip, I don't see it. Skip, their defense, have their defense gotten any better? No, but has it gotten any worse? No. And those two guys you talked about, they'll come back after four games, and I think they'll be pretty good. Oh, so you expect them to be 4-0? No, no I, don't. I don't. I think they'd be 3-1 and one at that point. <laughs> and and to, to Prim's point, it's the least, man. It's six and ten written all over it for those other three teams. Although, I've said on the show, I respect the Redskins. Once they signed jo Josh Norman, that was the biggest pickup of the, the offseason to me. So I'm impressed. And Kirk Cousins, i got to give it up to him. He was really good by Kirk Cousins' standards last year. Yeah. So, so they are threatening to my Cowboys. I don't think my team will win it by four games, but it could win it by two games. I'll say they win it by two games. But I think they're going to have to go 12 and four to win it by two games because th the Redskins could easily be 10 and six. You actually think the Cowboys are going to be 12 and four? I think they got a shot. Oh, wow. Skip, oh. when Tony Romo was at his best, uh, 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 what DeMar were they two years ago? DeMarco Murray, what was their record? 12 and four. That was at his that was at Romo at his very best. Yeah, and they went up to Seattle when nobody thought they could and won handily. And they and would have gone Bay, back to Seattle to in the playoffs. And lost handily. They, they did not. They got robbed handily in so, Green Bay. And you know it and I know it. So it because a, that was a catch. You know think, it was a catch. But think about this. They were going back to, to Seattle where they would have won again. A 17, Super Bowl, here they came. A 17 catch, touchdown catch season by Des Bryant. A almost 1,900 rush yard season, a 42, 4,300 yard pass season by Tony Romo. Love it. And they went 12 Preach. and 4. Yeah. And you actually think. Yeah, I do. Zeke the Free's going to add a lot of energy to that offense. I, I'm scared of Big Ten running backs. Big Ten running backs scare me because the history, the history is not on their side. The history is not on their side. If you want to go back, start with Archer Griffin and come forward. DJ Dozier, because for every... How can you put history on... You do it all the all time! Different. I do not. I never say that. This conference hold never hold produces... Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You just said the New York Giants signed Damian Harrison. They signed Olivier Vernon, Janoris Jenkins. How many, how many playoff games? <clears throat> Pro Bowl, this many. How right. many playoff games experience? This many. And but your you comeback was what? But you don't, but you don't want to use right. no history. But yeah. you're not using history. Oh, what does it matter that a conference has had a history of good running backs? How do you explain that? That's just fickle fate. I mean, that's, that doesn't... 
Well, over you mean, 40 are they, years? Are they used up or are they uh, overrated? I, I you think, do you think Ezekiel Elliott is overrated? Over 40 years. Did you see him in those playoff games dominate good Tim, teams from other conferences? Curtis Enos, DJ Dozier, okay. Tim Bianca Batuka. I didn't like Curtis oh, Enos. I said before I, the draft. I'm talking about whether you like him or not. I'm just giving you the facts. Okay. So how, does, how do those facts relate to this guy? I just, all I... Okay, are you pre predicting? Predict you'll be a bust. Skip, I want to hear skip. it. All predict I, All bust. I said is that I really don't trust Big Ten running backs. Eddie George is the exception. That's all I said, Skip. Okay, so well, how does it apply to this guy? I don't Please apply it. I don't. Because I need I you on record. All, all things being equal, I, I don't love Big Ten running back. Okay, do you not Other, love this one? Could he be the exception to your I'm historical rule? you in a corner here. I, he all, he all okay, but I want to hear it. Do you not trust Ezekiel Elliott in the National I Football League? I don't trust Big Ten running backs. Okay, well, then by, by association, I think you just said <laughs> that Zeke Elliott is going to be a bust. I didn't say he was going to be a bust, but uh, hold on, hold on. For the fourth pick in the for the fourth pick in the draft at the running back position, he better be Adrian Peterson. Well, no, they're, no, they're, no, they're no, different. Well. They're different kind of backs. Adrian Peterson went eighth. Ezekiel Elliott went fourth. He will have Adrian impact. That's what happened. He He's better be Adrian. Adrian Peterson is going to the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. This kid better be going to the Hall of Fame. Okay. All right, so let me I recap. think he's got a real shot at it. I'm not going to put that evil on him either. But, but Behind I'm a, that O-line, yeah. right? He's got yeah, a good heck yeah. So let me recap. You're going to choose the Giants. So I'm with taking the NFC the Giants. East, even I'm though the they've Giants. had three consecutive no losing seasons. Yep. Yep. And you're going to choose the yep. Cowboys. And, and, your Cowboys, and, and even though pick is contingent, QB. is contingent on my quarterback getting hurt. That's no, the only no, way. No, yes, no, it is. No, no, you know no. it and I know it. I didn't say nothing about getting hurt. did. Yes, you did. Between the lines. It's okay. It's okay. That's all you got. Look at you coming on here and wishing people harm. He hurt that table how, right there just a couple minutes ago. Fortunately, I did. Yeah. How do you get to a stretch that I'm hoping and wishing Tony Romo get hurt? All I said is I got the Giants to win that division. Wait, wait a second. If, if Tony Romo plays 16 games with no, the Giants I don't, I don't do, I'm not doing ifs. Yeah. I'm not doing ifs. Well, well let's, just, it, let's just make it a given that he'll play 16 games. Why do you preface everything by saying <laughs> if? Because we're in May. If if I had Bill Gates' money, <laughs> yeah. I would be the richest man in the world. If. Okay, and you wouldn't be sitting in that <laughs> chair right now, <laughs> exactly. right? Exactly. Okay, so. there you go. Touche. Giants. Let's go, Eli. Giants, Cowboys, and no Redskins. Let's All throw, right. Eli. Throw interceptions. All right, let's move on. <laughs> okay. You know, they say forgiveness will set you free, but clearly that is not the case between the Rangers and Blue Jays. Was Rugnets Odor's punch Ooh. out of line? Ouch. He it clocked looked, him. It looked in line to me. We'll see what Skip and Shannon say.